cease this futile battle now. Upon your surrender, we may or may not grant you a valid position as well. Really? You will? What kind of position? Comic relief? When I say Disgaea, what That's comes to perfect. mind? A demonic netherworld full of absurd comedy and penguins? Is it the postmodern riffing on the very nature of video games themselves? Perhaps the robust tactical experience with rich sprite art and over-the-top action? These are the hallmarks of the series, but they're about to be joined by... Sardines! Listen to this, Fenric. Sardines are the most ideal food because they are full of nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids. In other words, they cleanse your blood, prevent various diseases, and help you to burn more fat. Oh, and more extensive online content, including customizing and trading maps, pirates wandering the high seas of the PlayStation Network, and the exchange of senators between instances. But that's all thanks to the inclusion of lots of sardines to this, the fourth proper offering in Nipponichi's most famous series. A long time ago, in a flashback far, far away, the tyrant Lord Valvatores promised a particularly fearless human girl that he wouldn't drink her blood, or anyone else's that matter, until he gave her the fright of her life. Unfortunately, there was a war going on, and before he could make good on his end of the bargain, she bit the big one. So now he's a lonely Prenny instructor, an anemic shadow of his former self, wasting away but staunchly refusing to go back on his word. You forgot to include dude in all of your lines! But when a genocidal order from the president threatens to kill all of the Prennies, he decides to take his dissatisfaction and his sword all the way to the Blight House. In a departure from the school-themed shenanigans of Disgaea 3, today's new motif is political struggle. That said, this is the netherworld, so the most effective means of civil uprising is, well, just killing everyone. And to do that, you've got your standard array of blades, spears, fists, guns, odd monster parts, and so forth. The Evility system returns, allowing you to purchase and upgrade weapon-specific powers and stat bonuses. Once one character's hit the end of their particular line, a quick reincarnation will allow for a more diverse skill set. It's the same basic concepts that have been making Disgaea the go-to name in tactical RPGs, but even this version, improvements have been made. Firstly, the new Campaign Headquarters. While it acts like the homeroom of the previous version, you can now establish facilities and landmarks which offer bonuses to units in their area of effect. Yes, even the party screen has a tactical aspect now, and a strong one at that. A new cabinet system, fitting with the political motif, allows you to designate team members to gain bonuses with each level up, as well as appointing units to sit in on other players' senate proceedings via the PlayStation Network. Space is limited in your headquarters, though, with another plot of land being cleared for each map you complete, 144 in all. The item and Caro worlds return, but with a new twist. Instead of living in fear of wandering pirates, you can build your own galley and set sail within your own items, or terrorize friends on PSN. Similarly, a long overdue map editor makes its debut, but in order to buy more advanced pieces and options, you must earn currency by uploading your basic creations for the world to cover with monster blood. It wouldn't be a Disgaea game without a strange and well-voiced cast of characters, and Disgaea 4 lives up to its forebears with a confused girl who's almost a prinny, a final boss in training, the dead son of the acting president, and everyone's favorite John Travolta look-alike, Axel. Axel! He died again. No! Together, they give a wonderful performance of absolute absurdity, with pop culture references ranging from Mario Kart to Strong Bad to Say Anything. Yes, the John Cusack movie. It's colorful, it's funny, it's alarmingly insightful, and it refuses to take anything seriously, except its own promises. 